Pfizer is asking the FDA to authorize its coronavirus vaccine for kids ages 12 to 15. Laura Queso reports tonight when it comes, uh, it comes rather at a time when doctors are seeing more coronavirus cases in children. Pfizer wants to roll out more vaccine to kids. Right now, the vaccine is authorized for emergency use in people 16 and older. But now Pfizer and BioNTech are asking for the emergency use authorization to be expanded to include 12 to 15 year olds. The company said phase three clinical trials showed the vaccine was 100% effective and safe in adolescents. Yeah, I was thrilled when I when I heard uh, the, the little bit of data that they put out in their press report looked really good. Promising news for UH doctor Amy Edwards. The side effects were about the same as what adult, adults have been describing. Some kids had, you know, a little fatigue, headache, low grade fever, arm pain. Um, but they got over it very quickly. Just this week, Governor DeWine addressed COVID in children. COVID has historically affected older Ohioans more than children, but children certainly are not immune uh, to getting sick with COVID. Uh, in some rare cases, they can develop what is called multi-system inflammatory syndrome. There have been 166 cases of the syndrome in Ohio so far. Locally, Dr. Edwards says, cases among children aren't seeing much movement. It's a steady stream of both COVID and Miss C, the multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children associated with COVID. Um, so it's just, it's kind of just a steady drip, drip, drip. It doesn't dry up, it doesn't stop, but it hasn't increased yet. Meantime, CDC Director Rochelle Walensky says coronavirus outbreaks are linked to youth sports. She's asking communities to make adjustments based on circumstances. For example, in areas of substantial or high community transmission, CDC guidance specifically suggests refraining from youth sports that are not outside and cannot be conducted at least six feet apart. Similarly, large events should also be deferred. Laura Queso, 3 News.